So Scorpios, you guys, here we go. And the Hierophant. That's very interesting. So Scorpios, you know what's interesting is Scorpio spends a lot of time internally. Scorpio is not unfamiliar with their deep waters. Scorpio is very like willing to traverse the deep, the dark, the misty. So the Hierophant shows up when we have something very deep to learn. So what I'm seeing for Scorpio energy right now is that the, the act of pursuing yourself at this time in life, the act of like finding your alignment, like finding the, the thing that your backbone is asking to be developed in the area of, that has a lot to teach you right now. You have a lot to learn from this. So that is the, I guess, uh, what I'm seeing for you Scorpios and my own rising sign, honestly, is just this deep, 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 deep question. Where in life have I cowered? You know, Scorpio is really not afraid of deep emotionality. But Scorpios are afraid of being exposed. They are afraid of being betrayed. These are some things we need to ask ourselves. What are those deeper fears that I have something to learn for? Where can I develop more of a spine, more of a backbone? Where can I be more vulnerable? How can I learn to be more vulnerable? How can I learn to open up to others more while honoring, you know, the truth of who I am? And yes, Scorpio energy has this characteristical, you know, mysterious persona, you know, whether your, your Scorpio is rising or it's your sun or moon. What if, what if, what if true alignment with myself was less of a, a mysterious front and more of an embracing of mystery. What if it was, you know, acknowledging that the places in me that are a mystery to myself, that there, there lies a path towards deeper initiation and deeper understanding and maybe admitting that I don't know myself deeply Maybe that frees me from needing to project an air of mystery, which sometimes closes me off from being able to really connect to my community. Because we want our Scorpios to be authentic. We want them not afraid of the taboos of sex and death. And we want those who are no stranger to transformation to be, you know, fully themselves and also vulnerable enough to share what they understand and how they think about things with the community. So again, that's the Leo Aquarius polarity there for Scorpio. It's like, we want you to embrace the fullness of who you are without the, without the shadowy fear side of things where it's like, if you get too close, you know, then like, if you get too close, then my, my, I can't sting you if I need to. That's like a thing with scorpions. Like you have to be in the right vicinity for their tail to be able to sting you. And if you're too close, the tail will overshoot, right? And it will miss the target. And this is what Scorpio energy is very afraid of is like, if you're too close to me, if you know too much about me, then, then you can hurt me. Well, I think Scorpios are being asked right here to open the fuck up. See, we've got the closed top on that V. Fives are all about being challenged and conflicted and confronted here. And Scorpios tend to be like, you know, I'll go within and I'll learn my shit, but like no one else needs to be privy to the process. Well, maybe if you opened up and allowed people into who you actually were, the, the things that you are the deepest connected to that most of us are so terrified of, you could actually impart and share that knowledge, that information, that wisdom with the rest of us. So you learning to be more vulnerable with others and open is going to be, it's not just going to be the helpful thing that, that teaches you, but it's also going to be the way in which you are, you are the, the most beneficial to the rest of us. 
It's the way you participate in this community, this world, this society, you know, in the most beneficial way.